Hello everybody, it's Michaela from Hooked in a Flash. You can find me on Instagram as Hooked in a Flash. Facebook is Hooked in a Flash Crochet. And then you can also find my uh, crochet toy patterns on in er, Etsy <laughs> as Hooked in a Flash as well. I feel like this is really close today. I'm doing a different, different setup, but it doesn't matter. Hello! <laughs> I have a bit more stuff to show you guys this week, so it'll be a little bit longer than uh, your nine minute one that I did last week for you guys. Uh, I'm gonna jump right into finished stuff now. This box. <laughs> I'm not gonna pull them all out, but um, I finished the Bigfoot foot order. So I'll just show you um, one of each color. Here's the black MRSSI. So I know it looks, or at least it does for me. Here's the white one. My box is fluffing on everybody. And then the last one is, you, you guys have seen this color is the brown one. So I've got those. Oh, maybe if I turn these sideways. All right, I'll try and I have to fiddle with that to see if I can get them all to fit in. And then I also have smaller size ones. Oh, that's so awkward. Here's this one. They're brown, the white, and the black. And these have, there we go, the stuff on the ends. And then the last ones that we have are little keychains. We have the dark brown. These ones were too little to write the the uh, stuff on for me, so we didn't we decided not to do that. So I have just these two colors. I didn't have black, and it's kind of hard to get um, supplies right now, as everyone knows. So uh, we just went with those colors that I have on hand. And then um, the wife wanted a custom pink one <laughs> with white toenails. I don't know if you can really see those, but super cute. Those are all done. I am mailing them out as soon as this video ends. I just wanted to show you guys. <laughs> uh, so I got a big box full. There's lots and lots of feet in there. <laughs> um, so as soon as I find out the website and stuff that that is going to, I'll post it in case you guys want to check it out. And that is all I've finished. I haven't worked very much on anything else because obviously that was a big order and I needed to get it done. So I worked on that exclusively. Uh, well, not exactly exclusively. I, I worked a little bit. I was in line at um, my daughter's school to pick out, to pick up um, homework packets for my daughter and my son. So I brought this along because it was the long line and I got this this far done on it. This is the Lars and the Real Girl Lars and the Real Girl uh, blanket. It's a free pattern on Ravelry. Uh, it's a feather and fan shape with some garter in there. It's it's nice. I like it. This is not the correct yarn. I think it, it uses like a fingering weight or something like that. And this is the, not the correct count. I made it longer, of course, because you know I can't just do anything. But I, you know, I didn't want it just a throw. I wanted it an actual blanket. So I am making it an actual blanket. I've got my my needles are on too small, but I don't like working on this super large one. I would rather scrunch it up. But that's that. I'm really liking it. I really love the fabric that it's making. I think I'm gonna like it a lot. I will honestly probably never block this, but when you do stretch it out, it does look nice. <laughs> I just probably won't block it. Um, I have this much more left. Uh, then I will be caught up with how much I tore out for my sweater that I was making with this. Uh, so almost caught up. And then I have, this is just this. I will not run out. I have this massive, massive ball. <laughs> Look, this is my head. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, I love this yarn. It's really soft. Feels nice. Uh, it is. I think it's in uh, loops and thread, and it's loops and thread, thread impeccable. It's like endless something. 
I don't know, I took the, I took the, I was I'm looking because I have it, more of it, but n neither of those have the thing. On. I'm really bad at taking off the tags, the little, and <laughs> not knowing what they are. I do know that it's the loops and thread, threads, though I got it on clearance. I got three balls of it on clearance. So I'm really enjoying that. I like the fabric I'm making better. The reason why I, I took out my sweater was because the fabric was so dense, it just, I don't think it was going to feel comfortable. And um, I wanted a sweater so bad <laughs> that I kept going with it, even though I wasn't really liking the fabric. And then I got, you know, like this far, or actually it was halfway halfway up the, the uh, torso. I decided, yeah, this is not going to feel good. <laughs> so I took it out. It's okay. I don't mind. Uh, I have not done anything with the crop top that I was going to do. I think what I'm going to do with it, though, because I did do a lot of ribbing and I don't want to, like, totally throw it out, is I think what I'll do is take... Here, uh, I think I'm going to pull out up to... I already took my needles out because I didn't really care anymore. I think I'm going to pull out to about here and then put a solid color for the top and make like a crop top type thing um, to go over like my dresses. Maybe make a V-deck, you know, type pullover shirt. Not a long sleeve, just a short sleeve. Uh, something like that. Because, you know, it's still nice. I like it, but I don't have enough of this color. Otherwise, I would just keep going with it to make a shirt. I do to make the little spaghetti strap thing that I was making, but at any rate, that's going out. That's going to change. Um, those are being mailed out. Uh, that is what I was working on. I guess I really don't have, <laughs> I thought I would be talking longer than this, but I am not going to be talking longer than this. Uh, the only other thing that I have actually this week is I am going to, now that I'm finished with that, I am starting on a me project and, uh, somebody that I like to watch and listen to started a live stream on Twitch. It's Ross from Smells Like Yarn and he started a project, um, this morning called the... Uh, on the Go Knit Shawl by Yarn Inspirations. This is totally backwards for you. And it's black and white, sorry. But the picture is actually in black. They use black, gray, and white yarn. So it's not too bad. <laughs> um, looks like it's going to be a super easy pattern. It kind of looks like the Hitchhiker's uh, shawl with the little steps in it. See? I think it'll be a fun pattern. It uses four weights. Uh, this one here uses the Super Saver uh, balls, two of them, but I'm going to just use what I have on hand. I do have, I mean, I have masses, massive amounts of Red Heart Super Saver, but most of it is in solids. I don't really have a lot of, of the colorful ones just because the solids is what I use for my toy making. Uh, so... We kind of are doing a, an official knit along with this. So well, I'm going to start this today, um, probably tonight. And I am using Lion Brand Cupcake Yarn in Colorway Beach Ball. This has 590 yards. It's um, 5.3 ounces, 150 grams. Machine washable and dryable and 100% acrylic really soft. I haven't actually used the cupcakes yet. So I have some of them. I just haven't used them yet and I'm excited to use this one. This one I have been kind of holding off for a shawl anyway. So why not this one? This uses two balls of the 236 yards of the Red Heart Super Saver. So 472, 472 yards for this. And this has 590, so I'll be fine with that. Uh, the only thing is I'm, I have an obsession with you. I really love yellow. And my yellow is on the outside. 
I don't think I'm going to get it. I think I'm going to get the reds and blues. Unless I start from the outside. And I abhor starting from the outside. So I'm trying to think maybe I should uh, use my my winder. There it is. My winder. <laughs> and rewind it the other way so I get the yellow. <laughs> or maybe that's weird, but I don't know. I mean, the other side's pretty too, but it doesn't have the yellow in it. <laughs> and I may miss out on the yellow. Who knows? So I'm not sure if I will or not. We'll see how I feel when I start it, but I am definitely starting today and you guys will see progress on that. I will post it on Instagram and I will also post it on Facebook. I'll be posting pictures of my Bigfoot feet on Instagram and Facebook as soon as I'm done here so that everyone can see them. I know I haven't done a lot of progress pics of them just because I wanted to get uh, approval from the guy who was get, doing it first before I started posting a bunch of pictures about him. Yeah, uh, another thing I'm doing this weekend is I am going to be making face masks for everybody, not knit or crochet. I'll be sewing them. I have lots of random cotton fabric, so I'll be doing that this weekend. I'll make a bunch up for my family. Uh, we don't go out very much, but obviously things are changing, and it sounds like you are going to be... It's obviously strongly recommended that you wear a mask when you go out, which is fine. I get that. Uh, so I need to make some. So we have them. <laughs> so I'm going to be making those. And that is, will probably be my weekend other than working on the shawl. And yeah, I hope everyone's hanging in there. Uh, I will probably just work on the shawl and I'll have the my blanket for when I feel like me, like sitting down at a movie and watching like a long movie. I like to have the bigger project, but the shawl is usually my go-to. A smaller project is usually my go-to. This will be a, it looks like a pretty quick workup pattern. So I think I'll get it done fairly quickly. I should have it done for you guys next week. Uh, I know that today is not Wednesday. <laughs> um, I really got mixed up on my days uh, since my husband's home right now. My, obviously, my kids are home. I'm not having a good calendar right now. It, I just, I don't know what day it is. I thought for sure that Wednesday was Tuesday, and I missed out on my virtual knit night with my friends, which was really, really sad for me because I really enjoy those women that are on the chat with me. Uh, I really like talking to them. So that was a bummer, but I do have um, Ross from Smells Like Yarn. Like I said, he's been doing like kind of virtual knit night type things uh, on Twitch. So if you guys want to check that out, you can. That is all I have. I haven't actually been watching anybody on YouTube right now just because I've been focusing so much on this. But now that I'm done with that big order, I can maybe do something a little bit more leisurely, <laughs> like watch videos. Uh, I've pretty much just watched Smells Like Yarn. I've watched The Knit Girls, a couple of videos of theirs, and um, the Arne and Carlos a couple times. Uh, I'm severely backlogged on all of their knit-alongs that they were doing, the mystery knit-along. Um, I did the first five. I need, I think, four more. I think I'm four behind. So I'll get them done eventually. I I don't know. I could start them today. I just, I'm not feeling it. So I'm not going to do it. <laughs> uh, otherwise, yeah, we're doing good. Everyone's healthy. Everyone's happy here. So I hope you guys are, and I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next week. Bye.